Hi, this is Patty Hasmer. Today I'm going to be making salsa. And the ingredients you need is tomatoes, onions, salt, pepper, garlic, cilantro, and if you want it hot, jalapeno peppers. So I usually take the tomatoes. My son's uh, neighbor gave them these. He lives in Bourbon A. And anyways, he was trying to do something nice. So I usually take the tomatoes and I cut them. I'm trying to make sure you can see what I'm doing here. But to make salsa is fairly simple. You make sure you wash the tomatoes first, of course. You should know how to do that. And I have a Ninja um, that I use to chop it up, but I will definitely show you that in a minute. And I usually take about 10 small tomatoes, whether they're Roma, I mean, I mix them up, it doesn't matter. And the only thing I throw out, I use a paper plate to cut all this. I know, I'm probably a waste, but anyways, um, it's just easier. And then I take the juice and just throw it in there. Okay. Take the tomatoes, you just chop them. Okay. Now, of course, the Ninja, or if you have just um, a processor, food processor, or mixer, or... Whatever you have, um, you know, you can make it to your taste. If you like chunky salsa, then just do not mix it as much. That's all. If you want, I have a dog that's trying to smell the tomatoes. <laughs> like, if you would eat them. But if you want it, like, watery, and then you'd have more salsa that way, too. But um, it's a, to taste how you like it. So, anyways, I'm trying to show my son because... He didn't know how to make salsa. And he says, oh, my mom will make some. <laughs> and he really don't like tomatoes, which I find is strange. He's a big ketchup kid, but he's not a kid. He's 24, but anyways, yes. So I hope everybody's doing well with this pandemic. You know, a lot of changes, right? Every day. Saying all those different things. Don't know which way to go. But, I don't know. We haven't really been cooking too much because it's just me and my husband now. But that's okay too. Cut the tomatoes. Anyways, I'm just showing you so that you get an idea. I'm going to cut the onion as well so you see how much of the onion. Um, now I like onion, so we put a whole onion in, depending on how many tomatoes, you know? So that's up to you, um, and exactly the same thing for any other ingredient. Um, salt, my son loves salt, I love salt, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be honest, so... I did, I'll cut two more tomatoes just to show you about how much is in the blender, food processor, whatever you want to call it. I like the Ninja because you could just hit this pulse and it doesn't have to be as uh, watery. So I kind of like that feature, okay? So, like I said, make sure if you're new to uh, and you're young and you don't know any better, you've never been around anybody that cooked or made things make sure you wash the tomatoes your onion all that i'm sure everybody's more leery now with everything going on anyways i cut the ends off the onion now some people will cry but if you start if your eyes start to tear just run cold water it makes your eyes stop watering but i just try and hurry it up so that I don't have to. I just kind of cut the ends off here, which some people might use, you know, or just peel it off. If I peel it off, then my eyes will tear, so I don't wait. So I'm just trying to show you how I'm cutting this onion. So I just kind of cut it. Oop, and be careful because it's wet and you don't want to cut yourself. And you don't have to really cut it too small because the processor will cut it and shred it but I like it 
to help it along. I had one of those bullets before, and that thing lasted about a year. But if you didn't cut up the food, I guess I just got used to it, then it, you would ruin it faster. So they only last so long. Anyways, okay, so you got your onion, you got your tomato. And what I usually do is mix it, and then I do it to taste, okay? So we haven't posted in a while. I will be teaching math this year instead of science, so I will have less science uh, videos, more math, but that's okay. All right, power, pulse. So let me show you here. Let's move this stuff, okay? So here's the processor. I'm just going to hit pulse. I don't know if you can see it. Let's do it. Oh, it's like backwards. Anyways, there's a pulse button. Now, you can do any consistency you want. I like it a little thicker, so I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to pour it into a bowl. Let's just do this bowl. I still got more tomatoes, but I just wanted to show you. I don't want it to be five hours long, the video, how to make salsa. Anyways, lock it in there. Nothing better than a fresh tomato in the summer. Anyways, and then you just add your ingredients. So I want, like I said, a lot of salt, but you do it to taste. Uh, pepper. Best is uh, fresh cilantro, which I do not have, but um, where is he at? Here he is. But just add so that it goes on top of the tomatoes and everything. I have um, organic garlic, so I'm just going to put a little bit. I've never used this before, so, but I know garlic. A little bit goes a long way, remember that. So if you have fresh garlic, that's good. Sorry. Okay, a little bit. A little bit of garlic. Not too much. Because then it'll be, it'll taste ah, too much. Anyway, so I'm going to try and show you the top of this, what I mean. So you see the ingredients? I just kind of put them on top to match you know, like the same amount of everything. But you do what you want. So pepper, salt, cilantro. And sometimes, I'm just going to add a little bit of Italian seasoning, just a little. And if you want jalapenos, which I am going to add a couple, um, they'll just break apart if you got the nacho one. Do that and be careful if you have contacts. I've done this a million times where I didn't wash my hands right away, and that's horrible. Burn your eyes, okay? So, anyways, I'm just gonna throw some in here um, with a little bit of juice because the juice will go a long way in there, okay? And Stir it around. The jalapenos you can break up. You can put them in the blender too, if that's what you're gonna do, or your food processor. And then you just taste it. And you can always add uh, ingredients. Now some people make this with minced onion instead of a uh, real onion, and I don't think it tastes the same. Anyways, um, it always tastes better the next day. So if you know ahead of time that you need salsa, or you're gonna be making salsa, Put it in the fridge for a day. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.